Out here with the four-time world champion in three divisions, the reigning undefeated WBC lightweight champion, Shakur Stevenson, returning home to defend the WBC title against Artem Hartatunian. Shakur, what's going on, brother? What up, Sean? What up? What up? Nothing much, man. Um, let, let's get started on this fight. Um, do you remember Artem from the 2016 Olympic Games when you won the silver and he won a bronze at uh, one weight above? Or what might have been one or two weights above, but... Uh, yeah, I, I kind of got a, a little memory of, like, I remember he fought this, uh, I think he lost to this Cuban from Azerbaijan uh, that used to come to camp with us, and I used to spar him all the time. So, uh, yeah, I, I kind of seen him fight. That's what I say. I don't remember him. He wasn't like somebody that I really watched, but I seen him fight. Did you think he was good uh, even back then? I mean, at that Olympic level, everybody is good, like, It ain't like it's too many like fighters that's not good. So um, at that Olympic level, honestly, I I feel as though everybody that was there, um, it was some fighters that wasn't that good. Like you wonder how they got there, but um, for the most part, he made it to the uh, bronze medal round, and he got a bronze medal. So that that tell you everything you need to know right there. Did you think uh did you think he won his fight with Frank Martin? I know that was a very close fight. Uh see, I, I don't want to say he won because I don't feel like he finished strong enough. But um, like if I was judging it, I would have either made it a draw or he may have edged it, or like I don't he kinda I don't know. When he when he when he didn't finish strong, he kinda uh Let the judge, especially being in Frank, um, where Frank is, uh, from the fight in his hometown, or he fought No, in no, like they they fought here in Vegas, but Frank was the A side. He was the A PBC side, yeah, fighter. A side. Yeah, Okay, yeah. yeah. So I I think that uh, he just didn't finish strong enough. That's what I say. Yeah, it was close, and then Frank dropped him in that last round, and yeah, was able to take it. Um, he wasn't even like he dropped him though. Like it was kind of like a he took a knee, like. Like it was, I want to say it was fatigue. That's what I. That's what I seen. So, Look do like you fatigue. think? Do you think you uh, pick him apart in more dominant fashion than Frank was able to? I mean, that's no question. That's not even nothing. To even uh, think about. It. I know that uh, I'm at a, a level above Frank Martin. Well, not a level, but levels above Frank Martin, and um. I think that Artem is a good fighter, so he got to showcase his talent, but um, he's just dealing with a different beast come uh, July 6th. Yeah, how do you, obviously you see yourself winning uh, convincingly, but how do you stylistically see this fight playing out? I know he's got some good tactics, good high guard, got educated feet, you know, and Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. look, I'm going to know some boxing. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Definitely know some boxing for sure. Uh I mean, I see the same thing that you seen when I watched him. Uh, educated feet, high guard. Uh, he's a good boxer. Um, like I said, I, I think it's just levels. And I think that I'm levels above him. And um, I'm just ready to show him. Right now, I got like a chip on my shoulder. So with that chip on my shoulder, he got to deal with somebody that's uh, very motivated. So um, come July 6th, I'm coming to put on the show. You, you kind of always like like a lot of champions have a, a chip on your shoulder. But what sounds like it's a little extra from what you just said. What is it? What's that chip from Shakur? It's from people playing around with me and, 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 and trying to act like I'm not the person that I say that I'm not. And uh, I think I just got a lot of build up frustration um, about it because I done delivered so many times out. And then on the night, I'm going against a tough fighter and uh, I got a bad situation going. I think like a lot of people... Um, they just threw me out the loop. They said, oh, he's not that guy no more. He's not this. He's not that. And um, I think it's very funny. I think I, I find it funny in the music because it's like, what they going to say as I start beating people up even more in the next performances to come, uh, they're going to find reasons. They're going to find a reason. They're going to say, uh, this guy right here, they're going to call Artem a pizza delivery guy. And, 
uh, the next guy, they're going to call him something else. And um, they just going to try to take credit away from me and say that I'm not that guy. And uh, it's okay, though, because um, one day I'm going to get my opportunity to prove them wrong. Well, I, I know, um, like, I, I do think Tim Bradley put it really well. He's like, he, after the fight, mentioned, we just got four straight back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back performances from Shakur. And, you know, he gets the win tonight. Maybe it wasn't the greatest fight in the world, but he gets the win. And that that's kind of speaking to your point. But to to touch on the De Los Santos fight, to just bring it direct, is there something, because you, you, you fought three real good punchers against Valdez, uh, won the fight beautifully, still got the victory against Nakatia and De Los Santos, but you did look more uncomfortable at times, letting the hands go, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in spots in those two fights, Nakatia and De Los Santos. Is there something there to read into? Is there like, uh, in a, do you have to get more comfortable against punchers or was it just two nights where you got the victory and, and that's that? How would you put it, Shakur? I don't fought so many different punches in my career though. So like that logic wouldn't even like make sense. Now in certain fights, you don't fight certain styles. So, like, with a certain fighter, here, 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 here's how I'm going to put it, right? Because this, this is for the casuals and the people that don't know boxing or understand boxing. With, with being, like, a complete fighter, you need to be able to do different things in the ring, right? And sometimes it ain't smart or the best thing to see in a pocket with somebody who's a puncher. But some punchers you do sit in the pocket with, like um, Valdez. I sat in the pocket with him. If you go watch the fight around the eighth, nine round, um, he was more so breaking down. I'm the person getting up off the stool faster, and I'm sitting right there in front of him, and he's breaking down and backing up at times. And with certain punchers, like a Edwin Dollar Santos, if I got one hand in that motherfucker, right? And he's a good fighter. What 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 am I doing sitting in the pocket with him for? Like what what would what would what, what, what am I trying to prove? I'm trying to go in there, sit in the pocket, one hand, bang it out with somebody, and then he find a way to come out victorious, and then after the fight, what do they say? Oh, Shakur lost, Shakur lost and this and all they do is talk shit. And you know what they do after you lose? They try to bump you down and get rid of you. And now you're not the same, not in the same position or the same spot that you you get tricked out of your position trying to be macho man or a tough guy. And um honestly, I feel look, I feel as though um people just don't know boxing. At the end of the day, I can fight any style that I want to fight. I'm I'm a complete fighter. I could stand in front of People beat people up. I can outbox you. I can use my legs. Nowadays, because we got casuals ruling the sport of boxing, back in the day, Ali used to tell y'all, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I used to watch fights with Ali because I'm a, I'm a student, right? I'm a student of the game, so I study the sport. I used to watch fights with Ali where he's floating all around the ring from this rope to that rope to all around the ring using his motherfucking, his legs, Nowadays, when fighters move, they call it running because we got casuals that don't know nothing about boxing, ruling the sport of boxing. So now this person, one person say, oh, he's running. Now you got six other people that's going to say it. Then now you got the other people that's going to believe it. Then you got like boxing reporters. And I'm not saying you specifically. But it's other boxing reporters that don't know nothing about boxing. So now they're following the casual opinion. They never got in the ring before. Or they really didn't do their homework on watching the Sugar Ray Leonard's when he moved all around the ring on Roberto Duran, the second fight, and, 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 and use his legs. They didn't call that running. That that was why why is that not running? So um honestly, I just look at it like this. Uh fuck fuck what they Think fuck with they they opinions. I I don't give a fuck. Like I, I really don't give a fuck no more. Um, I had a point of time where I was immature and, and learning the process, and, and now I'm at a point where I really don't I don't care. Uh, you can say whatever you want. 
the real question that it boils down to at the end of the day is can that fighter beat me? That's it. Can he be can he come out victorious versus me? If he can't come out victorious versus me, I'm the better fighter. I'm better than everybody then. That's it. Well, well, to your point, Shakur, um, I thought about you in the aftermath of Haney and Garcia, right? Because here I am being one of the media guys talking about knockout for Devin Haney, knockout for Devin Haney. Yeah, Devin could win a decision if he's in and out, but if he sits on his counters, he does X, Y, and Z, he could stop Ryan, right? And it looked like Devin tried to live up to those types of expectations. He tried to do what Tank did, not just win the fight, but knock him out. We didn't see Devin use his legs a lot and stay in front. And so when the outcome happened the way it happened, I thought of you and I go, that's why Shakur said the stuff he said. That's why Floyd said the stuff he said, because Shakur got out of there with the win against De Los Santos. And that is, you know, what's most important. Did you look at the the Haney stuff and, and like kind of feel further validated about what you're talking about here? I ain't going to say further validated. I just feel what I already knew, like what I know already. Like if you got a high boxing IQ, you got a smart brain in the sport of boxing, why not use the brain that you got? Um, I think that's what blessed me to be in the position that I'm in right now with, with, with – um, they they can't say nothing about me. So the most that they can come up with is try to say that I'm boring. But that's not even a, actually a true thing. So um honestly, I like I said, uh yeah, I ain't gonna say it validated, but I think that watching that fight, um, it should have validated to more so the casuals, the people that don't know about boxing, maybe they should have been un been able to understand, like, okay. Certain nights, because there's certain fighters in certain fights where you go, you can be entertained, you can do a lot more, but then you got certain fighters where it's like they're just looking for lucky shots. Like that's that's all certain fighters on um, going in there trying to do. They're trying to trick up the bag, get lucky with a punch, and win the fight. And a fighter like me, I'm just too smart. I'm not, I ain't going to lie that to happen. So the old phrase was win this time, look great the next. Like that, that, that's a yeah. <laughs> so um, but before I let you get out of here, man.